In this tutorial, we will go through the process of opening an OST email archive, and then exporting that data as another file. When we start E3 we'll want to start a case, and then add evidence. In this instance, we will be adding an OST file. I have selected the auto detect option for the email type. Select the OST file, and you will be asked about the level you want to bring the data in. I have selected raw mode, so I can scan the deleted data. Once the data is added, we can expand the email archive, and go to the IPM subtree node. This is the inbox for our archive. If I wanted to search in this archive, I could use the advanced search, and put in the search term, or load a set of words. Once the search is complete, we can review the results. I can highlight that result and select everything to be able to export the data. In this example, I am exporting as EMX, but there are a variety of export options that are available for the data. I have placed the export data in a folder on the desktop. When you click next, you're going to have your export options. You can include attachment types, say, folder hierarchy. You can also limit the size of your export. In this case, we're just going to leave everything default, and click next. You also have custom filters, where you can use boolean expressions to limit the scope of the data. These options are done where you can search everywhere, or we can search in specific areas. If you choose sender 2, BCC, or CC, then we can add as many date range range filters as we need. In this example, I'm just going to go ahead and click next. I'm going to export all messages, and we're going to click finish. After the exports are finished, I will show you the import of the same data. Go to your email database. Note this time, we're going to select email examiner archive, and we're going to click open. We're going to point E3, right at the export, of where you saved that information to select the PMX, and click open again. We can leave our evidence name as we wish, or we can change that to whatever you need, and click the OK button for demonstration purposes. We're going to close all our grid panes and expand our EMX files. And we can see that we now have those EMX files in that format, from an OST. If you have any attachment types, we can read those attachment types. We can look at the RFC header, the text, the HTML raw HTML, or just the attachment type. When you have the attachment type, a simple double click will load more viewers. We can look at the properties of that attachment, the thumbnail view, the file view document, 